Um, we started off by sort of picking up from um, last week, particularly on the um, uh, Spankov uh, subject. Um, so where, you know, where are we going to build um, with customers and what have you? Mm -hmm. um, Ray had an example in, in his team where they had a project um, uh, come in, but um, the, the, the customer was very unsure whether they were uh, successful on the project and how much um, ASD Lighting as a company would you actually get out of that project. So how much would they want to focus on that? Um, Ray's team's fear were really that uh, if they put a lot of um, effort and design work in, would that customer then take that away and then go to somewhere else? Um, or if they weren't successful, would they go back into the client and then the client would use that? So they came to a decision really where they had to um, they had to backtrack and uh, uh, turn away the projects, and therefore focusing it on, um, you know, uh, they came to the decision that it wasn't a prospect; it was a suspect, and then focusing it on um, on obviously uh, customers and projects where there's a very good chance that. Um, they could actually win the projects, so that was that was really leading from there. So we were really just talking in the, in the group really about you know how we focus on um, various customers, building uh, building those relationships and working on projects uh, uh, for the future. Uh, John Burford, let's come to you. How are you this morning? Yeah, great, man. Um, there's um, yes, we had a, we had a good chat. I think we all took similar parts. To of um, plan away and, and implemented them. It was good to hear. And I think where we all shared very similar experiences where we used a much better filter process uh, for, from the outset. And, and I've had three or four brand new inquiries come from last week. And normally um, it's very easy to, to in, in current times when sales are a little lower than where they should be to jump in with both feet. And I think it's, if anything, you guys have sort of influenced us to sort of take a, a quick step back and just overanalyze the situation first, asking a few more in-depth questions without being too intrusive uh, as to the feasibility of the project. And obviously working, myself, we work in light and manufacture, so we do get asked a lot for design work, which involves a lot of man hours across many different departments. And I think, if anything, we've trimmed that right back, or I have, uh, to the point where we don't hand out because we're, we're very keen to do that as a service and, and show people what we can do. And uh, it's great when customers will say, oh, wow, that's a free service, free set of drones. But you're right in what you say, guys. You're opening exposure to your competition before you've even realised this guy is a, a prospect or could even be a customer. So and, and many times I do get asked to cite. Uh, and then on this occasion, um, spent most of my time contracting so that I go down and have a chat with them. But even from that visit, I didn't disclose anywhere near the level of information that I would have normally done prior to the, the, the plan we had last week. And, and it was good because from that, it, mean, it meant I didn't involve anybody else in the business and it was just myself. And within 10, 15 minutes, we addressed a few issues, raised an initial quote, I dipped the toe in the water, and we then revisited that particular project with a couple of key decision makers who was then brought into a Teams meeting, who then was overjoyed with what I'd done, could I back it up with a few calculations we did, and it's now going on to an order, which that could have gone the opposite, which very often does in my world. You put everything in, and uh, and it doesn't happen, and you get, you're left very dejected. So, well, you want, I, I, you know, what, I don't...